Today we're going to be doing a drawing from memory challenge. But before we get into the video, I noticed that we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is really exciting. According to YouTube analytics, only 10% of you guys are actually subscribed. If you like drawing tutorials and challenge videos, consider subscribing. In one of my next videos, I plan on drawing PewDiePie from memory, photorealistically. If that's exciting to you, then you have that to look forward to if you do. Anyway, onto the video. Essentially, I have 15 minutes to retain all the information in the reference into my artistic memory. Then after that 15 minutes is up, I cannot look at the reference again. We're going to start with the witch from Snow White. Honestly, throughout this whole process, it was a bit of touch and go. I didn't feel like I was retaining the information, like it was leaking out as soon as I tried to remember it. But to my surprise, as I started the drawing, it just sort of flowed out, which was pretty surprising. It didn't occur to me as I was filming this video that there's a high probability that a lot of people are going to think I cheated somehow. And to be honest, I, I didn't think, I don't know what to do about that. So I'm hoping people will just trust that I wouldn't do something like that, hopefully. Recalling information from your head and then being able to put it on a paper. I don't know. There's something cool about that. I really enjoyed that actually very much. So I can remember all the line work and the basic shapes, but the proportions or the distance between different lines was the hardest thing. For example, how big is the pupils relative to how big the eyes are? How big are the eyes relative to the face? Which is going to be a big problem, especially when I tackle doing a realistic portrait of PewDiePie. Distances and proportions needs to be exact in order to make it look exactly like the person that you're drawing. And in the next part, where I started with the shading, I go straight in and I only put one layer down. I'm using basic printer paper and I don't attempt to do any really high quality shading. I just go straight in and give it a basic layer. Once I began on the shading, things got a little bit easier due to the fact there wasn't much tonal variation in the reference. It was just black, medium gray, light gray and very light. But anyway, it was, it was a good challenge. I highly recommend you guys give it a go because I'd love to see how you do. I can't believe I drew that from my memory with only 15 minutes to retain the reference image into my brain and that's, that's a fairly good result. To be honest, I didn't think I could do it. Not even that close. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.